Hello everyone, and welcome to episode 18 of my Let's Play. Starting off today in the jungle as the moon rises and the sun sets. Ah, oh, this is a lovely, lovely place to be. Decided that it is necessary for us to have some farms, and I don't really know why I've decided this just now, but I have decided it. I couldn't record yesterday, this video is going to be a day late, unfortunately, so I'm sorry for that, but while I was not recording, I started on a custom tree. So I think around this area is where we'll build our next project. What is this project, you ask? Well, let me tell you. I would be pleased to tell you. Um, we have bees over here, right? These lovely, cute, adorable little bees that flutter around this entire area. These are free bees. I'm not planning on trapping the bees or ever using them for honey, but I would like access to a little bit of honey. I mean, it wouldn't hurt. So today, I'm smelting a bunch of sand, getting a bunch of glass together, I'm gonna dye it white, and we are going to create this world's first greenhouse. Oh, parrot? Do you hear a zombie? What's going on? I don't expect this to be too hard of a mission, to be honest. I pretty much have everything together that I need in order to build it, and it's just going to be a small little greenhouse to be the start of our farms. And yes, I, I did put on a bee skin specifically for this episode. Um, don't judge me, okay? I like this outfit. I'm just gonna place the greenhouse right here, right up against this tree. Uh, maybe not there. Maybe here. And then we'll do five gap in the middle. I think I like that. That's pretty cool. So this is gonna be a pretty simple greenhouse. I actually have a block by block tutorial for a greenhouse on my channel if you're interested in that. I will link it below, but I'm not following that tutorial exactly. I'm going to be kind of making my own little new design that is a little bit smaller than that and more compact. I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna do about the terrain in here, but I trust that I'll figure it out. I think what we end up doing is we at least peel all of this terrain back. And then, I'm not sure. Maybe we do a stone foundation? So maybe we just go along the edge like so and put some cobblestone? Yeah, that's not a bad foundation, I think. This is looking perfect. All I have to do now is get the roof in. I love building little greenhouses like this and stuff on the ground is especially important, I think. I heard a lot of your concerns, or a few of you anyways, when I was building in the jungle that I was just going to do like the typical tree houses that kind of everybody does, but I definitely don't want to neglect the ground in this area. I think it is absolutely beautiful, the jungle floor and all of the lush grass and greenery down here. I have no desire to neglect that, so we are going to be spending quite a lot of time building Building here. Okay, the greenhouse is looking amazing. <laughs> I actually kind of adore it. I think it is so cute, tucked into the jungle, it's absolutely perfect, and now we have to work on the interior. So I want to have bees up here. This isn't going to be like an industrial level bee farm, they're just going to be kind of fluttering around inside the greenhouse. I'm going to have their hives and a couple of hives where we can harvest stuff. I have no intention on using honey as a building block right now, and if I ever do, I'll make like a proper farm. But for now, this is going to be aesthetic. And to make this look more like an actual greenhouse, I think I'm gonna go ahead and just tuck some water in there and put some farms. Like, take our hoe and literally just have some farms. By the way, if you ever wanna hide water, you can waterlog a slab like that. So there's still water in there, right? Right here, it's under the slab, um, but it's hidden. So that's like the perfect way if you're being driven nuts by that pixel of water. That is awesome. All right, so the next step is gonna be going out and actually getting a whole bunch of bees, which that should be a pretty fun next step, I think. I'm excited for this. Got my silk touch ax, and we're also gonna need a campfire as to not make the bees upset. Do I have the stuff? Oh, I do. All right, quick little campfire build. You know what, let's just make a bunch of these because I am gonna need a whole bunch while I'm building this. And this hive actually does have honey dripping from it. So what I'm gonna do so I'm gonna get some smoke going up there, and then I should be able to safely share that. <gasps> yes, our first honey. So I don't plan on using these bees here for honey. I, I'm gonna keep them nice and safe and sacred here, but it is nice to have that option and I can now craft with this honey. So just like so, we can make our very first beehive. Now this isn't gonna have any bees in it because, well, I don't have any bees yet. So gotta go out and get some. All right, Bella. I need you to use your best beehive sniffing nose, okay? Your best one. This horse is oddly good at treetop parkour. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's a ravine. It just seems right that there would be bees in the sunflower plains. Maybe, maybe there's not, but it just seems like it would be correct. Oh, here's a hive. 
I almost completely missed it. Home sweet home with our bees. Lovely. Thank you for your service, Bella. This has been great. Doro, you're uh, you're looking real good as well. Thank thank you for chilling. Oh, <laughs> there's a trader at my camp. Cool. You actually look really pretty here. You're not really selling anything that I want, to be honest. But that's like the coolest. This is the coolest place that's ever spawned. Okay, now as for this hive, I think I want to kind of have this be like the queen hive, the queen bee hive. I, I'm sure this makes absolutely no sense in terms of beekeeping in real life. However, I should have worked that with silk touch. However, I, I really just, I want to hang it like right here. And this will be the hive where we kind of breed all of the other ones. So from this, whenever those bees decide to pop out, we'll get some flowers and we'll breed them. And the new bees will um, be located in these hives. So we'll end up with three of these hives that we can collect from and we won't collect from this one. This one's kind of just decorative and it'll be our breeder bees. I really love this area. <laughs> just putting some bushes outside. Oh my gosh, look at it. I, all I have to do is wait for those bees to come out. Okay, so now that the greenhouse is pretty, it's time for it to have some actual function. So this greenhouse is not just going to be an area for bees, although this is lovely, it's gonna hold a little secret, okay? So, uh, let me go collect some supplies and get started on that. I officially have a redstone shulker box. Um, so I think that that means I'm a redstone YouTuber now. Like, I don't make the rules, I think that's how it works. This is my redstone shulker box. We're gonna do redstone today, guys. I'm excited. Unfortunately for me though, one of the things that I actually need in order to do this redstone is sticky pistons and I don't have slime. Now, I do know where there's a slime chunk because earlier in like episode two, I think, we found slime, but I don't really wanna dig out a slime chunk right now. I'm not feeling it. I think I'm just gonna go to a swamp, wait for the right moon and kill some slimes. I mean, that seems like the logical explanation, right? So, according to the Minecraft Wikipedia, slimes spawn in the swamp most commonly on a full moon. I have no idea what the moon's gonna be tonight, but I'm gonna sit in the swamp until slimes spawn. That's- I'm stubborn, that's what's gonna happen. Now, I am painfully aware that a lot of you are going to be very angry at me for not just going out of my way to make a slime farm, but listen, I, I don't wanna dig. I'm gonna have to dig for a creeper farm, I'm gonna have to dig for an iron farm, I'm gonna have to dig for the farm that I'm doing today. I- I'm good on the digging, okay? I'm- we- I need like five slime balls. That's it. <laughs> it's gonna be okay to do it in the swamp, I promise. I'll do a slime farm at some other point. The moon is rising, and it seems... okay. It's not full, so we're not gonna get the most spawns possible. But that's not a new moon either, so uh... That's okay, I guess. I'll just chill. So, since tonight the moon is not full, I think it's just as well that I kind of go back and do some digging at my base, and I'll come back here when it is a full moon, which should be in like two or three nights, I think. Oh my gosh. I have sticky pistons. <gasps> I have sticky pistons from the jungle temple traps! Oh my gosh, I- I- that- I completely forgot about that. I think I literally need three. Like that. What? What a waste of time! Okay, I need to stop forgetting what I already own. Oh, hello? Excuse me? Excuse me? Nuh uh. Nuh uh. We're, we're, we're not gonna do that. Okay, so my plan is to actually have a little secret passage just right underneath here. Now, this area does have water. It does, okay. But that's okay. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in here with my sponge and just clear this out, and that'll make it way easier for digging anyways. All right, the digging process is going well, I think. <laughs> it's actually not bad. I think we can start setting up the redstone for it pretty soon. Okay, so now I have to try to follow a tutorial. I don't know exactly how this is gonna go. I'm probably gonna have to remove some of this, to be honest. I'm gonna place it right back on top. It's gonna be a hidden door, but... Still, <laughs> just in case, you know? Okay, so I think I put my sticky pistons there and there. And no, that's not correct. Hang on. Guys, I think I did it. I don't know what I did. I followed a tutorial. I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll link the tutorial down below, but I think this is functional. I don't know if I'm going crazy or not, but it seems like this is functional. 
Oh, I did it. It needed, it needed that. Got it, okay. I am a redstone genius. Even though I didn't come up with that design at all. It's, it's very cool. <laughs> it's a little secret door, so it's perfect. Okay, so with the secret room pretty much ready to go in terms of an opening and a closing, it's now time to have a function down here. And the first thing I'd like to build is a sugarcane farm. Really, really simple. I'm just gonna have the hallway kind of open up right here and this will be where the sugarcane farm is. I used to have no idea how to do anything redstone wise, but for this, I actually think I know exactly how to make this farm without actually needing any help. So we're gonna do water on the back, sugarcane right here, and then it'll grow up and then we'll have pistons right back along here. And those pistons will push the sugarcane whenever it grows. And what I'm going to do for the growth is I'm gonna just put an observer right here. So, well, <laughs> not quite like that. I'm gonna put an observer here somehow. Um, so basically whenever a sugarcane is planted here and it grows up, all of these pistons will push. Now this is probably not the most efficient design, but it is a design that works and to be honest how much sugarcane does one person need <laughs> i think this will probably be just fine i just have to run the redstone truck but like i'm right right like that if i yeah okay why is it <laughs> why is it doing that <laughs> i made a clock i didn't mean to <laughs> oh god oh this is gonna go horribly oh dear okay place a block not, not quite, not quite. Okay, so it needs to face into each of these blocks, which is my mistake here. It's not actually facing into the pistons. Hang on, give me a second. Oh, while I am sure there's a better way, I'm, I'm gonna use repeaters. <laughs> so now, sugarcane grows. Did they all fire? Did they all fire? Okay. <laughs> this is requiring every ounce of my brain power, and even that is not enough. Oh, hello bee. If this one on the end grew all the way up, it would fire, and yeah, they'd all get harvested. Okay. That's promising. Right, let me polish this off. Hang on. All right, I have done it. I have created a simple automatic sugar farm. This is really easy, just an observer, some pistons, and it all funnels down here when it grows. I'm really hoping that this works. Basically, my plan is to be able to kind of continue this hallway along this way and in different areas and we'll be able to build sort of whatever farms we need down here depending you know what's going on in the world and what we do actually need at the moment i'm not exactly sure what those farms will be but for right now this is a great start i think and when you come up to the top bam <laughs> once i fix up that scaffold you'll never even know it was there that is brilliant Going ahead and adding in just a few of these little leaves for details. Kind of leave that foresty feel in here so that the bees have a place to kind of hide away. That looks great. <laughs> I'm so happy with how this little greenhouse has come together. But I think this project is done for today at the very least. So let's move on to the next thing. The other thing that I noticed from building in this area so much is that we really need a bridge here. <laughs> It would be so helpful to actually have this island properly connected up with paths and stuff. So I think that is my next step. Just gonna go ahead and kind of connect up a few paths. I think actually a really cute and easy thing to do here would actually be to tunnel into the side on the other side. So this is like a bridge connecting tunnels. The only problem is I don't know where this tunnel would go, but it's a tunnel. We're doing a lot of secret tunneling today. For a single player world, this seems odd, but I'm living for it, I like it. Truly though, I have no idea where I'm going with this tunnel. Just gonna dig, I'll figure it out. I've had a thought. What if secret tunnel connects to my house, right? Cause there's this spot right here. Sorry, I don't have a hoe on me. Hang on, <laughs> one moment. Like what if there was a doorway right here and you came in and there was a secret passage? <gasps> That's gonna be epic, we're doing it. Okay, I've done it. <laughs> it's not the smoothest little link up, but it's okay, we'll put a little stair right here. It'll be perfect. Okay, so next step is going to be to slouch this path right here downwards. So I'm actually gonna just take that stair like this and kind of just slowly bring it down. This right here is gonna be a guide. So this is not the actual bridge, this is just a guide. 
getting our slabs over there easier. The idea is that we would get a nice little slouch coming across here, but I'm not really getting it. So I'm going to have to go down another layer. Luckily, this is the reason scaffolding was invented. Do we like this? Is this okay? <laughs> I think it's pretty good, right? It's a pretty standard bridge. I think we can hang some fences off of it maybe to give it that jungly feel, but it's pretty good. These are full blocks, so I just, I want to remove the full blocks. There we go. It's our second wandering trader of the episode. Why? <laughs> what are you doing? What are you selling? Mushrooms? Oh, dude. I don't want any of that. I do kind of want your llamas, though. Like, what if I just... No. No, we gotta be nice. We gotta be nice. So, just going ahead and kind of randomly hanging some vents off of this. Just gives it a little bit more, I don't know, detail, support, something. Gives it something. It helps. I don't know. <laughs> just builder things. It, it looks cool. Whoop. My bad. And now we have a bridge. I like it. We can still use it as an elytra landing pad if we need to, but I want the world ultimately to be able to be walked around on foot, so this is going to help with that. Now, while we're on the topic of working in this area, I need to fix this. I don't like it. <laughs> I do, I just, I don't like our entrance right here. I don't think it works. I don't think ladders are the way to go. I think that instead, we need to use those like warped vines that go up and down. They break your fall, you can climb them, and it's gonna look way cooler. So uh, what do you say we go get some? Gonna take my wings off for this, I think, just in case. And where should I put them? I'm gonna put them in this barrel. I'm probably gonna forget that I put them in that barrel, but they're in that barrel. Okay, it's nether time. Oh, hello, unfinished nether hub. Really gotta get around to this, don't I? Okay, anyways, heading into the warp tunnel and going over to see if we can't find some of those lovely twisted vines. My hope is that somewhere at the end of this tunnel, I'll be able to easily get into the warped forest, but I don't know if that's gonna be a reality. So I think instead of going that way, I think I'm just gonna kind of tunnel down. Okay. Okay. Maybe, maybe I won't. Mm, carefully go this way. Yeah. Okay. So the warped forest is over there. I just gotta. I gotta get down here. Hey! I found it. Heck yeah. Oh my gosh. I've never actually been in a proper warped forest. Just because the one that I found earlier in the episodes, it it wasn't very good. You know, like it it didn't have. It wasn't big. This one is very nice. Okay, we're just gonna make a quick staircase down the side of this. There are a lot of endermen around here. Okay, just making myself a little tower so that I know where I am. And, uh, whoa. <laughs> Wait, this is gorgeous. This is my favorite one yet. And with shaders, yeah, it's still really pretty. It's a lot more purple with shaders on. I love it. Watch me accidentally look at an enderman. So, I need several things from here. I'm gonna need a bunch of this fungus because I think it's beautiful, but also I have my Silk Touch Netherite pickaxe on me so I can pick up a bunch of this Warp Nylium, which I'm going to use to grow the fungus in the overworld. So these little ones here, I think I get with shears. Ooh, yes, I do, okay. So, make another pair of those, don't mind if I do. You know what, because this Nylium has a little bit of green in it, like if you look at the pixels, that's gonna look fantastic in our jungle. Like, I'm actually so excited. This is why I'm very happy that I'm a builder. I'm over here like freaking out, extremely pleased because I found, I found some Nylium and some Sprouts. Like that's a cool thing to be happy about. Also, here's our Twisted Vines. Bam, I think they'll grow in the overworld as well. So I'm, I don't think I need like a crazy amount of them. Um. So I've kind of gotten lost a little bit. <laughs> um, probably should have taken coordinates, to be honest. Oh, there's a bastion. Okay, so I must be in the right area, but I, I can't find my little stone tower that I built specifically for this purpose. Why not? I found it. We're good. We're good. I'm not lost. I'm a genius. It's fine. Saying goodbye to the warped forest because I have gotten, you know, more stuff than I probably ever need. But I'm very pleased. I'm so happy. <laughs> that was amazing. I have returned. Now, please excuse me while I literally place this stuff everywhere. 
Oh, it's gonna be so nice. Yes, the twisted vines in particular are some of my favorites. I'm gonna just let them grow and I'll cap them with string once once they uh, once they get going. But these are amazing blocks to be able to build with. They're so fantasy and beautiful and just, ah, I'm so happy. Look at the color pops. Okay, gonna stop myself before I go a little too overboard. Do you like it, B? Oh, you wanna get to the lilac? I'm so sorry. I'll put a lilac inside. I'll put a lilac inside. Don't even worry. Don't even worry. But you already had a lilac inside, you weirdo. Okay, I'll, I'll put another one. There you go. Now, the reason that I went to get the twisted vines. Oh, um, let me actually use some of that instead of some dirt. So basically what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take down this ladder and we're gonna use the twisted vines as a ladder instead. So see how we can climb these? Ah, yes, that's so cool. <laughs> Oh, what? Oh my gosh, I love them. Okay, and then up at the top here, all I'll do is I'll just make a little platform like so. We can just hop off, and then when we wanna go down, we just go down the vine. Oh my goodness. In other news, we do have another tunnel to decorate now, and I think I wanna use this kind of warp stem in here somehow. So what if we just dig out a side, and let me try all this real quick. We dig out a side, we do warp stem there, and then in behind it as a simple like backing pattern, we just do dark oak, right? Maybe, maybe, and maybe we'll strip it. We might strip them. But for now I'm gonna try it just like this because I think that's really cool. Also, the moon tonight is not full. I missed the full one, but I think I will head over to the swamp anyways, just to see if I can't uh, find any slime. I, I, I would like, I would like a couple more sticky pistons. I'm flying just because it's quicker. Hey, I actually hear a slime. That's useful. I don't know where though. Worst case scenario, we will at the very least get some more gunpowder without me having to make a creeper farm. And that'll be useful. Hey, slime! <laughs> cool. So, there can be slime spawning on this moon. Very, very nice. Very nice indeed. Come here, come here. <laughs> Look how cute slimes are. Man, if they weren't so aggressive, I would totally keep one as a pet. Look at them! Look at them! Oh my gosh. Okay, I got 15 slime balls. I feel very good. I'm not done yet. I'm just, I'm gonna stay the whole night. Why not? This was a very good night's hunting. 44 slime balls. 44 slime balls. Like, I, that's, I don't know, that seems really good. <laughs> I feel like I'm not gonna need to go slime hunting for the next like five months. <laughs> I think that's definitely going to do us and we won't have to make any form of slime farm quite yet. I'm not saying we never will, but I mean, one night of slime hunting and 44 balls, like that's good. That's, I didn't wanna dig, so that's really good. Okay, back to work on my tunnel. I have been putting my slime balls to use all morning and I'm very proud of myself. Let me show you, let me show you. So this is my tunnel that I've worked on. I've done a little bit of decorating just like I talked about with the stems. I think I like the stems. I think I like them with the purple. Then we approach a door. Oh my gosh, it's functional. It's like not hidden at all because the livers are <laughs> just... I'm a noob, okay? I'm a noob. I followed a tutorial for this. This is not my design. I will link it down below. Leaving our house and heading into the greenhouse, I've done another little farm down here. So I've got the door left open, my bad. But this is a mumbo jumbo design for the uh, melon and pumpkin farm. So this is very simply just pistons pushing some melons off and they get gathered by a little minecart. I think this is brilliant. It works well. We're gonna be able to trade melon and pumpkin with our villagers as well as paper from this, which by the way, this is indeed functional as well. So we're all good in the farm department. I feel good. Close my secret hatch. That's not so secret at the moment. <laughs> I don't work on my secret doors. I'm really, I'm not good at keeping them a secret. There are a lot of other farms that I would like to get around to doing. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make a list. Farms. These are the farms that I can think of right now that you guys suggested on my last community post that I should do. And I agree with all of these. There are probably more, so if you have more suggestions on farms that I definitely need, let me know in the comments. But that's gonna be a good list of stuff that I can kind of slowly start getting ticked off. Hopefully that'll help out. 
Anyways, guys, this has been a bee-filled and redstone-filled episode. Don't forget, I've done a lot of building in this episode that's not my design. I'll have all of the links down below to any redstone that I did. So if you want to recreate it in your world, you totally can. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. I've enjoyed hanging out with you today. I'm sorry this is a day late. I'm going to try to still get Thursdays up on time. We'll see if that happens. I don't know. I'm going to do my best. Thank you for watching, everyone. Bye-bye.